All right, so we're gonna start like this. So man, tell me your first and last name. My first name is Trayvonte Marshall. Well, yeah. My first name is Trayvonte, my last name is Marshall. All right, and then who they, what they call you? Okay, I'll go by the name of Trey Wiggs. All right. Going to school and everything, I was living with my mom, and it was kind of it was kind of tough on her, you know. It was tough on all of us. She trying to, you know, single parent, you know, trying to hold the household down and all that. And I was the oldest, and uh, you know, like I, uh, my, I used to play basketball and all of that. By me being the big brother, you know, I had to watch my little brothers, you know, my little brothers and my little sisters and everything. So like, instead of doing things like going to school, I used to do things like stay home and watch my little brothers and my little sisters. Or, you know, instead of doing things like going to basketball practice, I used to do things like staying home and watching them and everything. I had to, I had to play a bigger role to help my mom out. And then uh, she started like, like when I got in eighth grade, she got to just being, you know, I started knowing, noticing the illness from me. And it just, it just came random. It was just random out of nowhere. And it was just, you know, like, uh, she started having strokes, you know, going in and out the hospitals and all of that. And I'm like, wow, I'm steady trying to maintain and go be in school. But like, now we gotta really, you know, we gotta come together now for, for our mom. So now I went from going to school. I, I remember that day. I, I don't I remember the exact date, but I remember that day she woke us up, you know, and gave us a kiss. Like, uh, like, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm, 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 I'm having surgery today, and you know, I love y'all. Go to school, have a good day today. And I just remember coming off, uh, coming home from school, and it was just like, it was, it was changing my life. She was still in the hospital. She had tubes in her, uh, in, in, you know, in her, in her nose and all of that. And uh, she went from being in hospitals to being in nursing homes, you know. And, and then like we had to live with that, you know. And, and now I'm, I'm a senior, you know. It's been years. It's been going on for you know years, and like just been that's that was the start of it. Yeah. And so, so that must have been hard for you. I mean, you know, mothers try to protect you sometimes, yeah. and let you know anything that's going on. But, right. You know, how did that? How did you feel like seeing someone so powerful? You know, you just playing that, you know, ride down and, and, and you having to step up. Man, it was just, uh, you know, like, I always had all, you know, you can't ever question God, like, why? Because he always, he, he has a plan for you, you know? I do believe in that. And so, uh, like, seeing somebody like that, you know, my mom, somebody that used to be regular every day, you know, go like that, it just, it changed me. It's stuff that happened in your life that changed you, but it's up to you, you know what I'm saying, to make that change for the better. And just uh, seeing that, you know, see them, I just, all I can do is pray for my mom and go see her, you know, and, and be there for my, like I promised you that I'm going to be there for my little brothers and my little sisters. You know, like, I'm there. And, uh, and so, like, once once that started happening with my mom, you know, we got to, we, we moved in, we eventually moved in with my aunts and all of that. You know, that was the next stage. So, I'm, you know, I can't, I'm out of, she wasn't even at my, 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 my eighth grade graduation, you know. And, you know, that was kind of tough. My aunties were there. But, like, we was always tight to where, even before my mom's illness, like, me and my cousins, was like brothers, you know, like we were more like brothers. And then my aunties was like another second mom. Like my mom and my and her sisters was always close, you know. So like for them, I just thank God for that. You know, God had that reason. That's real. Like everything happened for a reason. He didn't leave us out here, you know, messed up. So uh, my, my aunties, like I moved in with them. And, you know, they got to like, uh, like, I'm, I'm going to school from their house now and all of that, so like, they, they, they was there to have our backs and all of that. We're going Hillside, you know, we, we're going to be on Hillside and all that, and then uh, we're going we gonna to go to, we're going to uh, go visit my dad's seat and all of that, you know, and all that, so, yeah, I'm trying to, you know, have everybody meet up on how we're going to do this. My dad got shot, bro. That was my dad that was killed. My mama, bro.
when I when I heard that he got shot, I was driving. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, I was at, I was at work, so I'm driving. Yeah. But I'm driving though. It's crazy, cause you know, I'm I'm driving. I just I was at work when I got the call, you know, and all I knew was he was, he got shot. So I'm crying, you know. I'm I'm driving, swerving. Oh man. All kind of thoughts going in my head. Right. I'm thinking that, you know what I'm saying, that he just got shot and he in the hospital, I'm like, yeah. Yeah, he gonna recover. Ooh, I just got shot, woo woo. Yeah. You know, yeah, like it was, it was straight. Yeah. Talking about, but I didn't even have to go home. My house was on Hillside, you know what I'm saying? I'm driving down 2-6. Yeah. And all I see is yellow tape just blocked up. All that was just blocked up, you know? So, you know, it was just like, fuck my right. head up, you know? Crazy. I, park, I had to park my car right. on Hillside and walk over here. That's how crazy it was, you know? It's messed up. It was crazy at the beginning, man. I was there at the scene, like, uh, Man, it's like, we left it. inside, me and Smooth left inside for like five minutes. The next thing we know, this happened. By the time we got up here, the police oh, had to take off. Where you at? Yeah, that shit crazy, yeah, man. By the time we came up there, man, they had to take off, man. See my nigga land in the middle of the street. It was crazy, right next to the air pump. Nah. I ain't left my nigga out here all night. Oh my god. It was a crowd of at least 150, 200 people just sitting in the field. He was actually over here laying down on the ground when I seen him, you know. You don't get no realer than this, you know what I'm Yeah. My cousin was actually a bus driver, you know. Up the uh, city, other than the Metro Transit bus driver. You know, when it happened, you know, so. Like, I look at these buses now, it's like, damn. I look at these buses. You already know. We out here doing this for real. Yeah. I'm doing this for, you know, it's Drew man, for real, to the death. This is where my father was laying down when I seen him. So, it's been some time now, it's been some time now, so. Still ain't flowers and all that. Look at how it used to be, but I come here to reminisce all the time, you know. RIP my nigga Drew. Oh, yeah, RIP big folks, man. Most definitely miss you, big bro. Yeah, he's definitely missed and loved by, by many. By many. That's, that's a must. For real. You know, that's real. And I just. You know, it's like, these is, like I said, these are streets that, you know, we, we was walking, we was raised on, like, you know, for my dad to be, you know, be killed, murdered in one, and these streets that I was, I, I walked on, and I was raised up on, and just, you know what I'm saying, that's impactable, like, that shit crazy, man. For real. Don't need to see him around, man. But you know what I'm saying, I just, that's why I'm doing this, I do this music, you know what I'm saying, it, it betters me. You know what I'm saying, so. Man. It's definitely the blood. Tears hit my face, I'm raining inside Cause truth hurt, lies kill like, like that's a surprise They in disguise, try to bribe us Good luck when you try This seen it all, did it all Just to survive So many rainy days, I'm drowning in the river Holly tried to scream for help But no one will ever hear him So when he left, somehow I'm standing in this river Like just couldn't get no clearer Why they really had to kill him Unsupervised, misled, lost children They just walking with them guns And they ain't even got intentions So who the blame? Cause no one was never listening Now it's people that's just dying All for reasons that's just senseless Staring out the window all this time just flying by I done had them rainy days All them tears up in my eyes I know time just getting hard What this is, we looking at, we at, uh, this where it all started at, you know This school right here changed my life You know, for the, for the, for the good though, for the better I, uh, I actually, I came to this school And I was heavily influenced, you know and that was that was for that was for, for the good things. I came to the school and I met I met I met some of the, the, the best people in my life, you know, that I can say. And but they're gone now, you know. Like Anthony Titus, like Keontrell Go Govan, you know, you know, Jordan Hughes, people like that. You know, and I just this is this is where I met him at, you know, and I just, I come back to the school and just in, in, in remembrance. Like this is every, this is where everything started at. That the whole after every dollar, after every dream thing, like you know, my brothers, you know, like, 
we all came to the same school every day type thing, you know. And like this is, I know they're not here now, you know. I, I, I keep their legacy going each way I can, each way I can. I come to the school, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and as a representative, I represent, you know. All right, so we left off talking about, um, you know, how you find yourself, how you find your motivation through struggles. Now, you got a song that talks about that. And it talks kind of about, I believe, the band of, you know what I'm saying, brotherhood between you and, and, and the people that you were telling me about. Yeah. Tell me about the song. All right, so basically, my brotherhood, you know, me and a couple of my friends, like, like we we came up with, you know, a brotherhood or whatever, and, and that, you know, a, I wouldn't say a clique or a gang or none of that. But that's not what we are. But it's, 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 it's titled uh, AED, and it stands for After Every Dollar, After Every Dream. And uh, two of those members, you know, like two of those, those you know, my, my friends or whatever, two of my brothers that, that created, you know, helped come up with it, created, and created, and even titled, who, who had a dream, you know, who started motivating us. Are gone, dead and gone right now. And that that alone, you know, hurts me because like this is something we all we all was with, you know, like they used to, you know, motivate us to you know, hey bro, keep money in your pocket, bro. No matter how you, you know what I'm saying, gotta get it out here, man. It's, it's not, nothing ever handed to us, and that's real. Like during my 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 personal struggles, wasn't nothing ever handed to me, so I gotta go out there and go get it. You know what I'm saying? And so that was with all of us. And so now, once you know, cause and then once we we not having like no. Nobody to tell you what to do and all of that. You know, you gotta have your brother. My life is set up as a brotherhood, you know? And that's if it's just like, if one of my brothers see me falling, you know, or if I see one of them falling, I'ma check them. And I expect somebody to do that the same to me. You know, and so, now it gets realer than that. Now it's like, you gotta, who's real? Or you gotta wonder who real, gotta wonder who not, wonder who not, wonder who not. Word, bro. Of course that shit sits with you, nigga. You feel me? You know I know that. You know, I, I, can, I can tell you everything that's happening in your head, bro. You feel me, bro? Because we that much brothers, we, we, we going through shit like that, bro. You feel me, bro? So why would I let you fall down some bullshit like that? You feel me, squad? On some real, on the more serious note. On the more serious note, bro. Because it's like this, nigga. And you know that 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 VFW like that that uh, airport or whatever. Boys behind us. Yeah. Fuck toy. Yeah. Fuck toy. Yeah. Man, they can't never yeah, yeah, keep that's exactly us down. What I mean. Like they they had asked me a time. They they on some cool shit though, but they just want to know like the time. All right, that's cool. This bitch, man. Shoot, man. Just got pulled over and shit, man. Took that, just took that little took nice that L. L took that <laughs> L, but not too much of an L. Cops is cool. Man. You have any nice meals that you Just the procedure, that's you all. You know. know. Oh no, brother, I'm okay, you know. Do you have a lighter or anything? Uh, a lighter, uh, yeah, I think okay. I got it. I'll just take that, I'll give it right back. Right. Right. Come here. I'm giving it right back, you all right? Anything? Just my camera. Just your camera? Yes, sir. How can I get a uh, I direct just the bag or yeah. you know, open that? the bag up? Yeah. Right. So you, you, you mentioned that you got some ways of dealing with this grief. Denial, no sleep, no appetite, acceptance. Explain that. Yeah, like, um, you know, like, like earlier, I said I was uh, not talking to anybody and all of that stuff. Like you really have to have time to your, your, yourself. So, but what what opened my eyes was, you know, like the day that my my sister she 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 inboxed me, you know, and, and, and inboxed me my my own course that I did about their mom. And so, you know, yeah, like I was denying it at first. Like, yeah, this can't be real. I honestly still be feeling like he still be here, you know, but like. That's that's gonna be spiritual, you know. He's not here physically, but he's here spiritual. Always here with me. 
And then like just not being hungry at all, being up at three, four in the morning, not going to sleep, you know. But that that takes part in me. Like I've been thinking, you know, like just having all this time to think. And I just been trying to seek out God more, like have out this third ear, you know, and that and that helped me accept, you know, accept, okay, he's not here. Now, but but like I believe that God sends people on earth, you know, to, to send a message to you or to talk to you, you know. I've been hearing stuff like well, basically, like, I was watching TV the other day, and uh, this is really what happened. I was watching TV, you know, I got his flat screen, his, his TV that he had, you know, I got it in my room now. And uh, I'm watching cable, just TNT, regular uh, TV show or whatever, and then it just it just froze up, you know, it just, my TV froze up. So I'm looking at the TV, and uh, it said, like, his name, my dad's first name, Andrew, it was on the screen. I just like, I wasn't scared of nothing, I just did like this, like, I know my pop's here with me. You know, like, it was more realer than anything. And it was just like, wow. But out of all of my tragedies that happened in my life, you know, like, I've been doing songs about it and everything, and, and like, performing at non-violent uh, events and all of that, you know. Like that's that's bringing me, that's uplifting me. So if I can, anybody else can. And like, I know how it, it feels, you know, when people just tell you, yeah, let me know if you need anything, and all, I'm here for you, and all of that. And I know how it feels, cause like at the end, you can re you can honestly feel like they're not here for you. You know what I'm saying? And I and I have, I have, I've, I've, I can admit that I've been one of those that feel like ain't nobody here for me. But in the end. You know, you honey, you do. Like I like for me, I got my aunties, I got my my brothers. You know, if they gonna see me fall or going down the road of self destruction, they gonna stop me. You know, so it's like I feel like you ain't never felt my pain if you ain't seen my, uh, so you can't see my game. You know, my brothers, they have felt my pain because we all went through it. So they at the end, you know, like when it's uplifting, we're all we all are uplifting. So if I can, I want you know, I want anybody else to know that they can too. Hear him brief, man, they really took my dad. Now I'm really feeling weak. Now they really messed up. Now I'm riding why they had to take his life. It wasn't long. Man, my dad did right, but it ended wrong. And as I reminisce this night when I wrote this song, and now my family wanna fight, they can't get along. Damn, everybody just tripping. My brother's still in that system. I'm thinking about all my sisters, cause I'm supposed to be with them. My father, I really miss him. Now I'm looking at pictures, and I'm thinking about my father. I'm taking care of my siblings for real. You ain't never feel my pain. Before he went, he went to prison. Before he went to prison, you know what I'm saying? He was he was really out here in these streets, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm gonna be real, you know. You got you doing it for his kids, you know. You gotta do anything for your family, you know. But what? But what? What shocked me, and now I realized is like he went to prison to get his G, his GED, like when he got out of prison. So like GED, that's his his high school diploma, you know. And then. Um, when he went to uh, when he went to when he got out, he actually went to 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 to, to, to um, college, doing culinary arts. Mm -hmm. Like like that's how everybody know. You know he, he know him as a chef. He was he was he he already know he could cook. You know what I'm saying? He, cooking has been in him his, his genes. You know what I'm saying? It's for years. Mm -hmm. And like just to go to school for it and just just you know what I'm saying perfect your craft. That showed me. Mm -hmm. That showed me that you could do anything. You know what I'm saying? You put your mind to it. And that's real. Mm -hmm. That's real, like, you know what I'm saying? That's my role, man. That's my role model right here. I rock him on the shirt, you feel me? This is every day, man. You know? You know, and it's, it's like, it's crazy, like, how, how life can play. 
Cause I had to watch, I had to watch my cousin, you know, be be murdered in my in my living room, and then I had to watch his son come sign for his for his dad, you know, for his dad. Like, like that was that was that was sad. I, I couldn't I couldn't believe that watching his his son sign for his dad, saying R.P. Your dad. But just just to know that later on in life, this was gonna happen to me. Just to know that later on in life, I was going to be signing for my dad saying R.I.P. wearing shirts. So you looking at a cousin, you know, picture of my cousin right here. And you looking at a picture of my dad as well. And they were standing next to each other, you know. It all started on Hillside, you know, so. This poster right here means a lot to me. I'm going to keep it with me. I just what I do is I just I keep their live their legacies, you know. I keep I keep everybody legacies going. Like I'm, I don't want to be famous. I just want to be heard. That's real. Let me go. You can come here closer though. Yep. Who birthday coming up? Today is December 16th. Who birthday coming up? Who birthday on December 19th? Who birthday on December 19th? Who birthday on December 19th? Look at you, you're so beautiful. You're so beautiful. I swear you are. That ain't no makeup or nothing that you love. You're so beautiful. That's my mama right there. I'm proud to say that's my mama. But we doing better now, you know? That's all that is. We gotta, we, us all, we gotta let our past like be our past. It's a new life that we got to live, you know? So like, think of it, you still, you always been my mom, but you a new body now, you hear me? Like, like the past, let's let the past be our past. <coughs> oh, cause I only want to progress from now on, you know? Now that we know that I'm rapping and I'm doing this stuff now, I want us to do different stuff now, you hear me, mom? You see, like they said, they, they, they shared my brothers shed real tears with me because they know everything that I'm talking about because they've been there with me, you know? They've been there with me. When I was out here, we was out here struggling and hurt. They've been there with us, you hear me, Rob? And I know, and I know, I, I know, my, I know, but we've been good, though, you hear me? We've been good. Because you always made sure we were straight. <laughs> School, clothes, everything. <laughs> We just for you. But now, I want to get that to you. Can I spoil my mom for a change? Huh? Huh? Can I spoil you? Christmas, this Christmas will be your Christmas, you know? You got two, you, you got two men now. You hear me? Two grown men now, that's your voice. This could be your person now. And that's how that's how good. That's how good raise your hand. Yeah, you already know. You better raise your hand, girl. <laughs> Shoot, you better let me know something. You gonna do this. You better let me know something. <laughs> that's real, mama, you know that. I just watch you, you know, like, I'm, I'm, I'm crying in tears, I'm, ha I'm so happy. Cause I just, I just watch you from so, some of these stages, you know, you know, just some of these stages. Going from the hospital to the nursing home, you know. Now you were here chilling, girl. You feel me? You got your TV, I, I put up that TV for you. You remember that? Huh? 
Yeah, uh, do it bogus. Put that little that small TV. I'm gonna put that TV in for you. Yeah. 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 Your son has got you. All of us. Influence us. Inspiration for all of us to try to do better. We all here to help each other. Yeah. I, I, I found out that like not everybody. I mean like everybody's struggling. Like right? you're not just the only person struggling. So like when I just get mad and hurt and just so depressed about something. You know what I'm saying? My, yeah, you know, my friend would be too, you know? My brother, you know, that no longer my friend, it's my brother, you know? Mm -hmm. So we've been through that much stuff. Yeah, we all together. Like, everybody, everybody struggling, you know? Every Mother's Day, you know? You know what I mean? It's been that way. Valentine's Day. It's been that way, you know that? Can we get me up? Telling y'all like like my life always been a brotherhood, you know. So like as if if my if my brother see me, you know, see me fall, see me down, he gonna check the same 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 I'ma do to him. You feel me? It's always been that way. Like so, you know, we uh we like we just that 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 that, that shoulder to cry on, you know, amongst each other. You know, we we you know we them niggas. You feel me? I like to say shit. I like to see my brother shine just like they like to see me shine. You feel me? Um, we gotta, gotta get my like, last. So basically, let's like you gotta, you gotta, you gotta surround yourself with, 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 with. with hey, Motherfuckers wanna say, yeah, yeah, because like on some real stuff, you know, simple-minded people like ain't gonna get nowhere. Like they, they gonna get simple-minded places. Like if you have a, if your mind state is so, so big, you know, you can't. My thing is, if you, you can't think small in this big world, you feel me? This world too big. It's more, it's more than life. Saying? So, so. If you're thinking big, you know what I'm saying, with a small-minded person, you ain't gonna get nowhere. That that small-minded person gonna always block you because they they can't think that big. They can't think as big as you can. You feel me? So you gotta go out there in this big old world and you know what I'm saying, explore, see what's out there. Hey, listen, on some real ass shit. Hey, this petty as hell, but watch the Lion King, okay. nigga. If Mufasa, if Scar would have never got Mufasa killed, nigga. The pride would have been straight, nigga. They would have ran them little hyenas out the bone yard. You feel me? They would have been. The pride would have been good, but you know it's always you gotta you, you can't have that one little that one that one 
One missing link will break the chain, my nigga. You feel me? Like you gotta. Tupac. Oh my mama. They 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 they, they destroy. They trying to destroy all the real niggas. Yeah. You feel me? Any 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 you gotta, say, you gotta that, surround any yourself. from concrete that grows, fam. They gonna try to cut that motherfucker down, fam. Oh my mama. On me, any rose that grows from concrete, bro, they don't want that shit, bro. Because it's different, bro. It's not what they want, bro. You don't see a rose that grows from concrete. That's different. why I just yeah. like, if you don't conform, they ain't on you. Ain't, you yeah. feel me? That's why we outlandish, man. We outside the box, man. Real nigga shit. Like, man. Yeah. That's why I just like, simple, man, bro. you got to just strive for the best, man, from the real life. Because where we come from, like, motherfuckers ain't really had them opportunities. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now, you got me finna graduate, go look out there to Kansas and them boys, you know? It's like, I ain't, I'm going to be gone, but I ain't leave, you know I ain't leaving my brothers. We're going to be Snapchat, no, Snapchat, FaceTime and all that, you know, but shit, hey, they going to come out there, turn up with me, you know, you know. Still well, be, Kansas fucking all right. the white hoes. Uh, all the white, all the thick corn for yeah, the white hoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They corn You feel me? They are niggas stupid, man. They, they is. <laughs> you know, they be like. No, but man. We all, we all, hey, ain't none of my niggas, hey, ain't none of my niggas finna, we ain't, we ain't finna live like basic, man. Yeah. Life's a bitch and then you die, that's why you get high. Mm -hmm. Cause you never know where you're gonna go. You never know, man. And that's why, you feel me, like, no matter what, man, everybody got, you, man, I just encourage everybody to do what the fuck they love, fam. Life too short, fam, to be stressing, to be... Yeah, cause to everybody be got mad, to be angry, man. Live your fucking life, right. yeah. especially if you in that field. Right, cause man. everybody, everybody gonna have that day. That's the, the, that's what that's what people really don't understand. Your day gonna come. You feel me? So my thing is, before your day come, like you gonna. What did you do? What did you do? Impact the fucking world, shorty. What the fuck? What did you do? What is, what were you out here doing? You probably okay. You you out here. You, you were selling. You were selling your little pack, whatever you know. Oh, nigga, do some motherfucking shit XO, on some uh, gang, man. XO, uh, come here. Let me show you something. We rock these. These Jesus pieces around our neck, you know what I'm saying? You Let me tell you something. You hear me? It's, it's a symbol. You know what I'm saying? The struggle real, you know? But God is Not good. God, all God, he with us all everywhere we go, you feel me? Excuse my language. Uh -huh. Amen. No, you, well, you, you, know, you know how I am now when it comes to him. He said, he said my grandma said to me call you. My grandma He's is. supposed to be coming up here today. So. He, you know what? I got it. He need to do his business, take care too. What we doing? Oh, we're gonna have a group conversation, you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh shit. Okay. So here it is. It's the next step. Yes, it is. This is awesome. God is an awesome God. He's an awesome servant. Mighty God. I'm just thankful. He definitely is. I'm just, I'm, uh, I'm looking at this like, this, this, a, this, a, uh, me, me putting my name on this, 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 this says a lot. This song is me on to the next step, you know. And I'm, uh, I'm not going back after this. I'm not letting myself down. I'm not letting nobody down, you know. I got real people around me right now, you know. People that's just been, they want to see me graduate. People that want to see me do good. And this is now, you know. It's really, like I said, it's a, it's a step to uh, success. And me signing this is real big. I'm just, my heart been beating, you know, over the weekend. Uh, I know I got it on Friday, and now today's Monday. I'm ready to I'm ready. I'm ready to sign it. I just want to say, bro, I'm proud of you, man. It's been a rough year, you know what I'm saying? I've been seeing you all year. And it takes a lot to go through everything you've been going through, man. Just keep pushing, man. Like I said upstairs, keep your hate blockers on, bro, because they don't come, man. Don't let them throw your focus. Get that paper, man. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Keep it. Let's get me deceiving. I just know that that was That's his personality, though. He's on the ground. Turn up, jump on the ground. Look, I know how happy you be. This is what I'm going to do. I see you from the way I'm going to do it. The way I'm going to do it. The way I'm going to do it. For the first time, I came and grabbed you. When you start, first started doing the positive thing, that people was looking at you like, oh, no, it ain't too positive. You got tattoos and all that, you know. And you just kept doing, you know, your thing. And just like, step by step, you know. Getting there, man. Like, you already know you motivated the whole squad, man. You know, you know, you watch it. You know, I'm going to be watching. You know, I'm going to be watching. You know, I'm going to be watching.
I don't know, it's just crazy that we're growing up and that we're getting this life and everybody doing their thing and finding their hand up and she's like, oh, we're all like something like that, like, like starting to start with each other and like, and that's on to the next step, everybody, you know, let's see the new life. It's amazing though, cause I know that you really been focusing hard this year on your music, so like, was you really surprised at it? You know what I'm saying? This aspect, I know you always ball, but you was really going hard on the music. Man, honestly, like, let me tell you, like, my one one thing I really always knew, like, my dad, he really was on that. If you gonna like, don't start nothing, don't finish it. You know, I knew I could play basketball. I knew I could rap. You know what I'm saying? And I just try to perfect. It. My craft and everything that I try to do, everything I try to do. So like real my music, what what affected my music was my my, 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 my lifestyle. You know, I started to put my negative to my into positive, you know. By trying to do it like everything all circled around as far as brought everybody around to this table. Like, from my childhood, me playing basketball, you know, like from from, from my life me growing up, meeting people from the field, you know, you've been great to me with the you know what I'm saying? Like, we, we worked a lot. Like, I learned a lot working with you, you know what I'm saying? Chill you as well with the singing, you know? Me and everybody, and it's just like, Mama Shai, you've been a great inspiration on me. You know, uh, lesson-wise, you know, all of them, I just respect my OGs. My brothers, man, they just always been in it me every step of the way, you know? And I really, even the man behind the camera, like, I just thank everybody that's here with me, you know what I'm saying? And I just live my life, my life, that's what, inspired my music, you know what I'm saying? And then for me to go back to that basketball, it never really left, you know what I'm saying? I, it always was still in me, but I just said like, oh, I'm not hooping because of my, yeah. I, I really I really pushed it off my shoulders, like, I'm not hooping because of my lifestyle, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and I had to go back to that, you know, I, I was just, just a few years ago, I was starting varsity, you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, I'm gonna go back to that, like, you know what I mean? I don't know what, what much to say about that. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. After you went back to it, you know, you seen what happened. Yeah. After you did go back to it, you know, there's always a way, bro. Take advantage of that basketball, but then still be open to other aspects on you there, too, bro. Definitely. Yeah, still sit there throwing a feature back. If I can invest in a, in a laptop or something, in a mic or something, and, and still be able to, like, hey, oh, definitely, yeah, you already know. Man, I can perfect my craft. Hey, but you never know, your project for the drop, you might glow with the project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, it's mm -hmm. super rappers. I just thank God, like I got this, you know, this documentary coming out. Every it's just it, it was. I didn't even really know it was gonna be this big. Like I just said, it was gonna uplift me. You know what I'm saying? And then not to know that other people watching, like mm -hmm. it's inspiring so many people. Like I'm now, yeah, here I am, two years later, graduating high school, but now. It is probably, like my sister's finna graduate eighth grade going on to the high school. All of these is like success accomplishments, you know, all around the same time. I knew at the end it was gonna come together. And then like I knew like, <clears throat> I knew it was just all gonna like, all gonna come in at once. God does have a plan, you know. All my negatives, like yeah, we all kept having, like, stuff kept hitting the fan, but like I know something. He's going, he gotta pay his off. All what does gotta pay off. I knew I kept telling, telling myself that. You know, I kept telling myself that. Like, it used to be me not going to school because of just stuff outside of school that was happening, you know. But this year, I told myself there ain't going to be no more of that, no matter what happened, you know. So, yeah. Well, I am extremely proud of you. And I just want you to know that you, there's nothing that you can't do. You're capable of doing whatever it is you want to do. You're a great individual. You, you, your character is good. You're calm. You're smooth. You're just, you're respectful, and and all of that means a lot to me. And so I want to, you know, just want you to know that I'm very proud of you. We will be supporting you from here, and I will be making a trip down there from time to time to make sure you're doing what you need to be doing. And so, um, I just really want to say. Thank you from the position I sit in. This is just, you know, I feel, you know, you, you my baby, all y'all, you know. Mm -hmm. And I say thank you to Brian for this opportunity, for putting him in place to be able to get have this opportunity. Mm -hmm. Phil, for just all the work that you've done with him in the studio and just encouraged him. Chill, 
you know, just being present, you know, your your uh, pops, uh, Juan, he's in there working on a uh, report right now, but anyway, him too. And then your, home, your, your brothers, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know y'all squad, when you say squad, check yourself, crew, whatever, all of that, but you guys have been good, supportive friends and how I talk to you about friendship, about how you can be honest with your homies and your and your brothers and it's so important for people to have people in their corner that are keeping a hundred in truth. You know what I'm saying? And it's real easy for people to pull people off their square and get them involved in something negative and, and you know, it's just bam, it can happen like that. But showing the love and encouragement and because we know there's enough haters out here for everybody. Mm -hmm. But when you have supporters and people that are, got your back and they want to see you do well, that's really, really important. I'm just going to tell you, keep God first in everything you do. Every experience you've had that goes through with having in your life has been preparing you for something that's coming. You know what I'm saying? And it is to make you stronger. You know, like I say, a, a diamond is a piece of black coal first. And because of the pressure that it goes up under and it endures, eventually, you know, it, get, it turns into that multi-faceted, beautiful diamond, but it has to be polished and it goes under pressure. And you're that diamond. You're that diamond and you haven't even began to sparkle the way that you will. I, I know what's coming for you. And so you just, like I said, keep God first in all the, in all your ways, and um, keep that humble smoothness and and uh, about yourself, and just go forward, man. I'm excited. I am so excited for you. And I, the music, I mean, the basketball, the music, all of that is just, it's incredible. And so you know, let your light shine. Let your light shine, man. I love you. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of fun too. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> Trey, I wanna say, I wanna say this, you know, coming from me, I've been knowing you longer than everybody here. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing Trey since he was 11, 12 years old. And he came up playing with my gentleman. Always see me come up, what's up, B, what's up, B? All the time. He, he can tell you, every kid on the team, from my stepson Kahari to, to him, to to they've been with me since, you know. I very first started my organization, you know, and uh, when I came here this last year, I saw him in the parking lot, he locked up, talk. But uh, when I when I when I knew the coach had offered him a scholarship last weekend, uh, uh, Amanda, who, who works with me real closely, and when Mama Shy wasn't around, she was Mama Shy as best she could be, and you know I knew she had helped you. When I told you last minute, the last minute add-on, and I added you to a roster, because I know talent. I mean, I'm, all three of my boys have got Division One scholarships out of high school, and I know talent enough. Mama Shy's son Sam was like a son to me when he was younger. I know talent, so I knew this kid could do it. But it was just all of the things surrounding his situation that was kept putting him out of that mindset to do it. Uh, so I, I, pre I present a stage for kids unlike anybody in the inner city when it comes to this basketball thing. And I think a lot of people around here don't know that, but I think this is living proof right here with our dumb helmet. We're going to have something else also for Damari Pittman, uh, who will be probably going to McCook County in Nebraska, and Arthur, Arthur will probably be going to Central Lakes up in Brandon. So this is going to be one of many things that we'll do this year. But when I did find out, I want to get back to that, that he was going to go there. I called my mom and I started crying on the phone because I remember that day that I came to school, very first day of school this year, and I hadn't saw him when I found out that his dad had died and he hugged me in the front of school. And, and I know what it's like to lose your dad because my dad died 60 years old. My dad is the reason why I do what I do with kids. And I cried to my mom and told her how happy I was that I was able to present you an opportunity to do what you're doing right now. She'll tell you that. She started crying on the phone don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm a big ass dude and all this and that, but I do have feelings and I'm real, real emotional about my kids, whether it's any of these dudes in here or my kids. People that don't really know what Brian Sanford does, this is what Brian Sanford's about these kids. I'm not about myself, it's all about the kids, my program's all about the kids. This is history right here at HSRA. Uh, 
I've been knowing my own shot since I was a shorty. I've always looked up to her and TC others, people like that, my whole life. When I came here and knew she was here, I was, even, I was just as happy as you were on you, man. But I can tell you right now, this is the start of history. You're starting history right now with this school. Just as like they got this video up here, they need to move that to the side and put your, put your jersey up there from my grassroots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> put your HSRA diploma. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's that history. That's that and his realness. brother done already right. made a song, History in the Making. Right. That's what's yeah. happening right he now sent it today. To me on the phone. History is yeah. in the making right now. He so. sent me the song on the phone. I had to pull over in the car when he said he had made it, and I started crying in the car. I was that emotional about Trey Wiggs because I know what it's like to lose your parent and then to see, you know, what your mom's going through. When I looked at your documentary, I said I had to walk out of the VIP that day, and I just broke down crying in the bathroom. So. I know what that's like, man. I don't know. I got one pair now. You got one. I, to have one, when you get my shot to take, she lost both her parents. So when you lose one and you only got one left, and you you know you, you see your dad, and you, you know how happy he would be to know looking down on you right now. That's what it's all about. So I don't want to get too long with it. Nothing like that, but you know, that's where I feel about Trey Wiggs. I feel that same way about Mo. I feel the same way about all these cats. That's why when these cats see me in the hallway, it's all love, and they know that. You know? So I got to I'm just, I'm crying, man. Man, these tears are just joy. Like, I do feel like I made it just off to, like, from where I came from. I just feel like I just, I don't got to live that path anymore. After this, it's just going to no me and no beginning. I can make a way for everybody. It is, you is right. I came a long way, you know. And where I came from, I can't go back. Like, so there won't be no distractions and all that, you know what I'm saying? I done seen enough to, 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 to try to do that, you know. So yeah, I just thank God, I thank everybody, thank the man above, you know, to give me the strength, you know what I'm saying? It's the, 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 the maze that, that my life was, you know, the optimist that, I, that I've been in. You're a role model now. That's a huge burden. So, I, I, Lil Wayne once said he was interviewed, I think, by Barbara Walters. I don't know who it was, and he was asked the question. So, do you think you're a role model? And Lil Wayne said, No. It wasn't his choice. You don't have that choice. Right. When you become successful and you become a leader and you re represent more than yourself that's the role model and i want you to have a clear mind we're going to embrace aj aj's going to be all right and dd's butt too I might have to kick it a couple times. Oops, can I say that? Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's my baby too. Those are my babies. And so they will definitely um, continue as a part of this family. They check yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's for life. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. You got your brothers here. They're gonna embrace them. We're gonna all embrace them. We're gonna put the mm -hmm. team, the school. When AJ is able to come back, and I just, I want you to be able to be okay in your heart and in your mind about how that's gonna go. Because I know how much you love them, and I know how much your family means to you. And um. That's community. Yeah. When you doing this, you doing this could take AJ's mentality to a whole nother level. Oh, it totally. Is. It is. You gotta understand. It you know, when you doing this can take him to another level. Yeah. And um, I'll give you an example. My, my business was, was okay when my dad died. But there's a lot of things he used to tell me. You know, you need to be more professional. You need to be more organized. You need to do this, you do that. All the time, it's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever. <laughs> But when my dad died, everything. everything that he told me, my mom is a testament. She'll tell you, it's a testimony. I have followed that golden path. And Malik can tell you because he's part of my program. And right now, we're hotter than Lil Wayne. Believe that. You already know. And I couldn't be any, you know, I couldn't be any, as long as I've been doing this 14 years, my business is at, a, at an all-time high right now. We beat the top team, this quote-unquote the top 
AU team in the state this past weekend. Howard Pulley, when Mama Shaw knows who they are. And we beat them and won, we won the whole event. Malik was there. You couldn't even get in the court on Friday night. But we went from what I used to be. Trey will tell you about playing in the small court to St. Matt's Gym on West Side where the court was about this big. Trey them running in the walls. Gym was so small. But we had the top talent. We had the top talent in, in the state in that gym all the time. <coughs> the kid everybody's talking about. Trey them grew up playing against those kids. And uh, so this, trust me, for your brother to be able to go down to school and come hang out with you at homecoming or something yes. like that and understand yeah. what a homecoming is like versus being in the ghetto house campus. party where you got pistols and stuff, where you can go to a homecoming party where it's, where it's going down and you guys is right next to Kansas State University, go hang out up there. My boy's a head coach there. Just a lot of things. That whole college life is something oh, I didn't even see. So mm -hmm. even these dudes, they, they yeah, trust me, they go on there. You think you're going to inspire the whole squad? Yeah. Everybody want to, you know, man. Well, if yeah, you ain't never been to college, Malik can tell you. If I'm Phil, I'm shy. Sure, there's nothing like it. College is like this. It's quite nice. That, that, you're a college athlete. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't want to get distracted. Yeah. 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 Oh, they got it. Oh, they got it. Oh, they got it. 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 More than anything else, your term from the year on out is student athlete. Yes. Yep. Student first, all day, every day. I don't like want nothing less than a 3.0 from you. And that's real, okay? Anytime you need help, you call us up, you get that in advice, that, that insight, slash information insight exchange, and we make it happen. But the relationships you learned how to build here, you take that down there and do the same exact thing. Build those relationships with every single person you take the class with. Because that's what it's going to take to succeed. Okay? You are, you are on the path to success. But remember, that student is the first key to your success. Okay? Make sure everybody has all the information, will keep you supplied, and that nobody has to have an unwanted pregnancy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> that has down there. You heard I say I'm one. Oh, yeah. Yes. So most of the time, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. I'm definitely ready for this. I'm 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 ready for you know what? You just signed that contract. You be signing basketball and autographs and everything. Yeah. 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 that signature back yeah. 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 You gotta get that doctor's signature. Ain't nobody reading this shit. You gonna be goofing and rap. You gotta put the track. You gonna be hoping you're gonna rap. Reminiscing backwards, no food up in that cabinet, but I still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah.
and all my fallen angels is the reason I just think of my achievements and my body starts to weaken Believe me, cause I don't think nobody know the meaning of all all them plainless cries Lonely nights when I was sleepless, I made it I made it, my life amazing I've been mistaken, I'm underrated yeah. Yeah. My boys, my babies, and they're all gonna do great things. They're fabulous. Oh, uh, this is a picture of video. Video. Uh, oh, <laughs> all right, yeah, okay. Right. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, right. Well, yeah, yeah. Man, I want to give. First, I want to give a thing, man. I want to give a shout out to everybody. Like, everybody. Oh, I'm starting to write this. <laughs> we need, we need bloopers like this. We do. Hey, glad. Man, y'all, I want to give, I want to, first off, I want to, I want to give a thanks to God, you know, because without God first, you know, I put God first. Without God first, I don't know where I would be at, you know. First, they say, you see God at a time of need, you know, and, and so that means when you were low at the bottom, you know. And I have felt that before. But I also put, learn how to put my negatives into positives, you know. So I want everybody out there watching this, everybody who ever seen this before, anybody can do this. Me, my own self, somebody coming from the poverty and all of this, look where I'm going and look where I'm headed to. I know where I'm headed to, you know what I'm saying? They say that your windshield is bigger than your rear view mirror, you know what I'm saying, when you drive, you know? I drive, so, and that is true. But. That means plan for your future, you know what I'm saying? Everything that happened in the past, it was a reason for it, you know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't be no more blaming nobody else, you know, you're going to be going through guilt, you know, denial, all of these things, you know, losing people and all of this, you know. But you got to learn how to strive through the best, literally, you know. Like, having that, that shoulder to cry on, having your brotherhood and all of that, all of that stuff counts, all of that stuff matters. Having God first. You know, I think my girl, my girl been there with me. She been there with me the whole time, you know. Three years of relationship, you know. I love her, you know. She know what I'm talking about. But, uh, thank my aunties. I want to thank my aunties. Man, my aunties is like my mother. My cousins are like my brothers, you know. Thank everybody, you know. Man, Trey Wiggs, we going to Kansas, baby. I can't believe this happened. I made it. I made it.